Hi boys and girls, today we are going to work on pages 259 and 260. So make sure you have your packet and a pencil so we can work together today. But first, before we begin our lesson, I think we should practice counting by 10 to 100 and I need your help. So when we count to 10, can you clap with me? So it might sound like this, 10, 20, 30, 40, okay? And can you do that? And while you clap, I'm going to make a tally for every time you clap, okay? All right, are you ready? Get your hands ready. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job, did you clap along? So now, I want to know how many tallies do I have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So when we count by tens, we have ten groups of ten. all the way to 100. Good job. So I went on a little bit of a scavenger hunt in my house and I found some shapes and they're solid figures. They're 3D shapes. Do you recognize any of these? This one. This one is my dog's ball. And he loves it. And do you know what this shape is called? It's a sphere. Can you say sphere? Sphere. Good job. And it can roll around in any direction. And this one can bounce. What about this? Have any of you played this game before? Jenga. Yep. This one is a rectangular solid. And do you know what these are called? They're called faces. The face. It's a flat surface or each side of the solid shape. This one can't really roll. It could, but it's pretty chunky. And it definitely can't roll this one. This one is called a cone. If you've seen it like this before, maybe you've seen an ice cream cone. It has a circle on the bottom. And if you were to take almost a triangle and wrap it all the way around, it would make a cone. And this one can roll in a circle. I'll show you in a little bit. This one, this is a fun game. It's called Pick Up Sticks. It's a really fun game if you've never played it before. And this shape is called a cylinder. What shape is on the bottom? A circle. The face is a circle on both sides. But this part is almost like a rectangle, and it can roll. I'll show you, too. This is a cylinder. And this last one, it's a dice. It's also called a cube. What kind of face does a cube have? What shape is that? A square. Good job. It's a square. And it can't really roll. I mean, it can but it's pretty chunky. It doesn't have any circle sides. It's just square faces. It's a cube. Can you say cube? Good job. So let's look a little bit closer as to how these shapes can roll. This one, do you remember what this one was called? A sphere. And it can roll any direction. Does it have any faces? No. No flat faces. It's round all the way around. It can go any direction. This was called a sphere. Good job. Do you remember what this one was called? Cone. Let's see how this one rolls. Ooh, do you notice how it goes just in a circle? 
I folded this one, so it's not perfect, but it goes round and round in a circle. The comb rolls in a circle. And what kind of face does it have on the bottom? A circle. Do you remember what this one was called? A cylinder. Good job, a cylinder. And what kind of face does it have on the ends? A circle. Let's see how this one can roll. Mm -hmm. Yep, it can only roll one straight way. Good job. Do you remember which one this one was? A rectangular solid or rectangular prism. This is a rectangle and this side is a square. Let's see how this one can roll. Hmm. I don't think this one can roll. What about this one? This is called a cube. And what kind of face does it have? A square. Can this one roll? No. So only the shapes with a circle or a round surface can roll. Which one can roll in a circle? Yep, the cone. This one. Which one can roll in a straight line? The cylinder. And which one can roll any direction? The sphere. Good job. Last time we counted on from the number 80. So let's keep going. Are you ready? Okay. 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, what's this one? 86, 87, 88, 89, and what comes after 89? 90. Do you remember our friend Farmer Brown and how he was taking some pigs to the county fair? Well, he was taking 10 pigs. Let's count one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He took ten pigs to the fair, but three of them got muddy, so we're gonna put them in some mud, right? And the rest stayed clean, so I'm going to put them on my white paper to show that my pigs are clean. How many pigs did Farmer Brown take to the fair? Do you remember? Ten, and three of them got muddy. So how many pigs are still clean? How do you know? Seven because they're still left over, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Think about the 10 clean pigs at the beginning. After some pigs got dirty, does Farmer Brown have more or fewer clean pigs than he began with? Remember, he started with 10. So does he have more clean pigs or fewer clean pigs? Fewer. He has seven. Now let's do page 259 together. The instructions say color or draw to show the part that changed. And then we're going to complete the sentences. Can you read this part with me? Three pigs got muddy. Three pigs got muddy. How many pigs do we have right now? Five. 
and we're going to show that three pigs got money. So you can maybe color their little feet to show that they were in the mud. Or you can draw X's on them, cross them out like we did with the apples last week. And now how many are not muddy? Two. Five minus three equals two. There are how many clean pigs? Two. Good job. The next one says four k -k cows got b -b bells. So let's draw bells on four cows. One two, three, four. How many bell, or how many cows are there to start with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cows, but only four of them have bells. So how many cows are without bells? One, two, three. There are three cows without bells. The last one says five dogs got bones. Why don't you do the last one on your own? Pause the video and then I'll tell you the answer in a little bit. So how many dogs are there all together? Six. And five of them got bones, so let's give each of them a bone. One, two, three, four, five. How many did not get a bone? Just this one. Six minus five equals one. There is one dog without a bone. Good job, let's go to 260. It says, animals nibbled on some pieces of fruit. Complete the sentences. How many apples do we have right now? Eight, it matches our number sentence. Minus five. And look, it looks like five worms are there. How many are left over? Three. There are three whole apples. How many cherries do we have? Five. Minus three. It looks like this little birdie nibbled on three cherries. How many are left over? Two. There are two whole cherries. Now at the very bottom it says begin at the star. Can you find the star? Good job, it's right here. And we're going to count by tens to connect the dots. Why don't you pause the video and try this on your own and then I'll show you how I did it. Okay, did you finish? All right, let's see if our papers match. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. What is the picture? A swing set. Good job. Good job today, boys and girls. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye.